Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang slope of a line. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so far ay na-discuss ko na sa inyo yung introduction about linear functions wherein diniscuss ko sa inyo yung general at standard form of a line as well as ginrap natin yung line by using tabular method at intercept method. So ngayon ay diniscuss ko naman yung isang mahalagang concept about line which is yung slope. So ano ba yung slope? Slope gives a numerical measure of the inclination or steepness of a line. So yung slope yung nagdetermine kung gaano katarik yung inclination ng line with respect sa horizontal. So, for example, meron tayong apat na lines dito. So, let's illustrate kung paano ba natin i-describe yung slope ng line by having two points within that line. So, for example, dito sa unang line natin na y equals 4x plus 3, so meron tayong given two points na 0, 3, tsaka 1, 7. So, from 0, 3, para makapunta tayo dito sa 1,7 na point dito sa starting point natin na 0, 3 ay nag-move tayo ng 1 unit to the right at nag-move tayo ng 4 na units pataas. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, in this case, we have the slope of 4. Next, let's say, let's consider y equals 3x plus 5. So, let's consider the point 1, 2 to 2, negative 1. So, from this starting point na 1, 2 nag-move tayo to the right ng 1 unit at nag-move tayo downward ng 3 units. So, 1, 2, 3. So, therefore, ang slope natin ay negative 3. Tapos, dito sa third line, we have y equals 2 thirds x plus 2. Let's consider the point 3, 4 at 6, 6. So, from this point, 3, 4, nag-move tayo to the right ng 1, 2, 3, 3 units at nag-move tayo upward ng 2 units. So, therefore, yung slope na nakuha natin ay 2 thirds. Next, we have y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 4. So, we have the 2 points 0, 4, tsaka 5, 1. So, from this point 0, 4, nag-move tayo to the right ng ilang units, 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, nag-move tayo downwards ng 3 units. So, 1, 2, 3. Nakapunta tayo sa 5, 1. And the slope is equal to negative 3 over 5. Okay, so, paano ba natin nakuha yung mga slopes na to? So, meron akong table dito na ginawa para ma-determine natin yung slope ng align. So, dito, kinonsider ko yung dalawang points. So, for example, dun sa first line natin, yung 0, 3, tsaka 1, 7. So, kinonsider ko yung point 1 as 0, 3, tsaka point 2 as 1, 7. Tapos, hinanap ko yung horizontal change. So, para mahanap yung horizontal change, ima-minus nyo yung x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, in this example, yung x sub 1 natin ay 0, tapos yung x sub 2 natin ay 1. So, x sub 2 minus x sub 1 is 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. So, yun yung naging movement natin to the right, 1 unit. Tapos, yung vertical change naman, ima-minus natin yung y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So, yung y sub 2 natin is 7, tapos y sub 1 natin ay 3. So, we have 7 minus 3 is 4. So, ito yung naging movement natin na 4 units upward. Okay? So, kapag kinuha daw natin yung vertical change over horizontal change, ito yung magiging ratio nila. Yung 4 na vertical change over yung 1 na horizontal change, which is equal to 4. So, kaya yung dito sa example 1 natin, yung slope natin ay 4. Okay? Next, 1, comma, 2, tsaka 2, negative 1. So, dito sa point natin, kinonsider ko yung 1, comma, 2, tsaka 2, negative 1. So, ganun ulit, hanapin natin yung horizontal change. So, point 2 si 2, comma, negative 1, point 1 si 1, comma, 2. So, so, we have 2 minus 1 is, sorry, hindi 0, it is 1. So, positive 1. Tapos sa vertical change naman, y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So, this time, negative 1 minus 2. So, negative 1 minus 2 is negative so, mapapansin nyo, meron para tayong kinoconsider dito na sign. So, kapag yung 
sine ng vertical at horizontal change na rin ay negative. So, di ba sa first example natin, parehong positive yung naging horizontal at vertical change. So, ibig sabihin, kapag yung horizontal change natin ay positive, it moves to the right. Tapos, kapag yung vertical change natin ay positive, it moves upward. Same as kung yung horizontal change natin ay negative, it moves to the left. Kapag yung vertical change naman natin ay negative, it moves downward. So, in this case, dito sa line B natin, line 2 natin, yung horizontal change ay positive pa rin. So, kung i-refer natin, from point 1 kama negative 2, nag-move tayo 1 unit to the right kasi positive yung horizontal change natin. And then, dito sa vertical change, negative 3. So, therefore, expect natin na mag-move tayo downward ng 3 units. So, kaya, nag-move tayo ng 3 units downward kasi yung nakuha nating horizontal change ay negative 3. So, therefore, pag kinuha natin yung ratio ng vertical change over horizontal change is negative 3 over 1 or simply negative 3. So, kaya yung slope natin ay negative 3. So, mapapansin nyo, pwede tayong magkaroon ng positive at negative slope. So, mamaya, i-define ko kung ano ba yung karakteristik kapag positive tsaka negative slope. So, same concept lang din dito sa line 3 tsaka line 4. Kukuhain, kukuhain lang din natin yung horizontal tsaka vertical change considering the two points. So, sa line 3, we have 6 minus 3 is equal to 3 for the horizontal change. Tapos sa vertical change, we have 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. So, kaya, yung ratio ng vertical to horizontal is 2 thirds. So, nakuha natin dito ay slope na 2 thirds din. Positive. Okay? Tapos dito sa line 4, we consider 0, 4, tsaka 5, 1 na point. So, pag kinuha natin yung horizontal change, 5 minus 0 is 5. Tapos, vertical change is 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So, ang ratio nun ay negative 3 over 5 or negative 3 over 5. So, kaya yung slope natin dito ay negative 3 over 5. So, yun yung concept ng slope. So, ngayon, i-generalize natin kung ano ba yung formula in finding the slope. So, the slope of a line, if P sub 1 with coordinates x sub 1 comma y sub 1 and p sub 2 x sub 2 comma y sub 2 are any two distinct points on a line then the slope m of the line is given by m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 is equal to rise over run where x sub 1 is not equal to x sub 2 so ito yung vertical change ito yung horizontal or yung rise over run so, ito yung tanandaan nating formula given two points for the slope. Rise over run or y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Tulad nung ginawa natin dun sa illustration. Okay? So, ngayon alam na natin yung concepts about slope. Ay mag-solve tayo ng examples directly kung paano maghanap ng slopes given two points. So, Find the slope of the line containing the given points with the following coordinates. Then, graph the lines on the same coordinate plane. Okay, so let's have A, 2, 3, and 6, 5. So, let's say ito yung point 1, ito yung point 2. So, we have slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, therefore, ito si y sub 2, ito si x sub 2, ito si y sub 1, x sub 1. So, substitute natin yung values. So, 5 minus 3 over 6 minus 2. We have 5 minus 3 is 2. 6 minus 2 is 4. Or 2 over 4 is 1 half. So, therefore, the slope is 1 half. So, kung i-analyze natin, meron tayong positive 2 na run or nag-move tayo three, 2 units to the right and then meron tayong positive 1 na rise or nag-move tayo 1 unit upward. So, pag ginrap natin to, let's say, two muna, dun muna tayo sa starting point na 2, 3. So, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So, dito. And then, we have 6, 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, 6, 5. So, kung i-consider natin yung 2 points na to, makakabuo tayo ng line, di ba? So, pag kinonsider natin yung 2 points na to, makakabuo tayo ng line. Tapos, pag in natin yung nakuha nating slope na m is equal to 1 half. Tapos, pag kinonsider natin yung nakuha nating vertical change na 2, tsaka horizontal change na 4, we have 
Magmove tayo ng 4 units to the right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then, 2 units upward kasi positive 2. So, 4 units and 2 units. So, tama na nag-end tayo doon sa point na 6, 5. After natin ginawa yung 4 units to the right at 2 units upward. Okay? Tapos, yung ratio nila is 2 over 4 or 1 half. Next, we have B. Negative 2, 3, and 1, negative 3. So, let uli natin itong point 1 is itong negative 2, 3. So, x sub 1 to, tas y sub 1 to. Tapos yung point 2, yung 1, negative 3. So, x sub 2 to, y sub 2 to. So, apply natin yung formula. M is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. We have y sub 2 is negative 3 minus y sub 1 is 3 over x sub 2 is 1 minus x sub 1 is negative 2. So, we have negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6 over 1 minus negative 2 is 1 plus 2 or simply 3. So, negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. So, therefore, the slope is negative. So, pag pinlat natin sa rectangular coordinate system, we have negative 2, 3. So, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Ito. And then, 1, comma, negative 3. So, 1, 1, 2, 3. So, dito. Okay. So, connect natin yung dalawang points para mag natin yung line. So, therefore, it is the graph of the line containing the two points, negative 2, comma, 3, and 1, comma, negative 3, with slope of negative 2. Okay. Next, we have negative 2 comma 2 and negative 2 comma negative 2 so let's say ito yung point 1 so x sub 1 y sub 1 and then ito yung point 2 x sub 2 y sub 2 so m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 so negative 2 minus 2 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 so negative 2 minus negative 2 so we have negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4 over negative 2 minus negative 2 is parang negative 2 plus 2 or 0. So, therefore, negative 4 divided by 0 is undefined, right? So, therefore, the slope of these two points is undefined kasi yung denominator niya ay 0. So, pag pinlat natin to, we have negative 2 comma 2. So, 1, 2, 1, 2, so dito. And then, Negative 2, comma, negative 2. So, negative 2 ulit. So, negative 2, negative 2. So, dito. Negative 2, comma, negative 2. And then, pag kinonect natin yung points, makakabuo tayo ng line. So, mapamansin nyo, yung nabuo nating line ay vertical line. Right? So, therefore, ito yung line na mabubuo kapag kinonect natin yung dalawang points na negative 2, comma 2, tsaka negative 2, comma negative 2 with slope which is undefined. Kasi nagkaroon tayo ng 0 sa denominator. Okay? Next, we have negative 3, comma 3 and 3, comma 3. So, let's denote this as point 1. So, x sub 1, y sub 1 and 3, comma 3. So, let's denote this as point 2. So, x sub 2, y sub 2. So, M is Y sub 2 minus Y sub 1. So, 3 minus 3 over X sub 2 minus X sub 1. So, 3 minus negative 3. So, you have 3 minus 3 is 0 over 3 minus negative 3. So, parang 3 plus 3 is 6. So, 0 divided by 6 is 0. So, therefore, the slope of these two points is 0. So, pag ginrap natin to we have negative 3 comma 3. So, 1, 2, 3 and then 1, 2, 3. So, dito... And then, then, pag pinlat natin yung 3, comma 3, ito siya, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, so dito. Then, pag kinonet natin yung dalawang points na to, magagrap na natin yung line determined by these two points. So, therefore, ito yung graph ng line determined by the two points, negative 3, comma 3, and 3, comma 3, whose slope is 0. So, mapapansin nyo, yung nabuo nating line ay horizontal line, which has a slope of 0. Okay, so, base dito sa apat na examples natin, meron tayong conclusion na pwedeng ma-generalize. So, we have ideas on slopes, lines with positive slope, rise to the right as you look at points with larger and larger x-coordinate. 
the larger the slope, the steeper the line rises. So, di ba dito sa example 1 natin, yung nakuha nating slope ay 1 half, which is positive. So, therefore, base dito sa ideas on slope, dahil positive daw yung slope, it rises to the right. So, as yung x daw natin gets larger, yung slope mo ay nagra-rise to the right. Okay? At habang tumataas yung slope, ay nagiging mas steep yung pag-rise to the right nung line natin. So, parang unti-unti siyang nagiging steeper. Okay? Next, we have lines with negative slope rise to the left as you look at points with larger and larger x coordinate. The larger the slope, the steeper the line rises. So, ito yung example number 2 natin. So, di ba yung slope natin dito sa number 2 ay negative 2. So, therefore, as x daw gets larger and larger, the line rises down to the left. So, facing siya to the left. At habang lumalaki daw tong negative slope na to, mas nagiging steeper yung slope natin to the left. Okay? Next, we have horizontal lines have a slope of 0. So, ito yung example number 4 natin. So, di ba yung na-plot nating lines doon sa number 4 is horizontal line. At yung na-compute nating slope nila ay 0. Right? So, therefore, ito yung conclusion natin kapag meron tayong horizontal line, yung slope niya ay 0. Tapos yung equation niya, base dun sa video ko, it takes the form y is equal to b. Itong b, siya yung y coordinate nung dalawang points na yun, which is in this case 3. So, the equation of this line is y is equal to 3. Okay? Next, we have vertical lines have a no slope or undefined. So, base dun sa example 3 natin, di ba, yung nagrap nating lines ay vertical line given by the 2 points, negative 2, 2 and negative 2, comma, negative 2. Tapos, yung na-compute nating slope ay undefined kasi nagkaroon tayo ng 0 sa denominator. So, therefore, I think conclude natin kapag meron tayong vertical line, ang slope niya ay undefined. Tapos, base dun sa video ko about linear function in its graph, di ba yung equation nung vertical line takes the form x is equal to a. Tapos, itong a natin, siya yung x-coordinate nung dalawang points, which is x is equal to negative 2. Okay? So, ito yung representation natin sa graph given the characteristics of the slope. So, kapag positive slope, the line rises to the right. Kapag negative slope, the line rises to the left. And then, kapag zero slope, yung mapubuo nating line ay horizontal line. At kapag no slope or undefined slope, ang mabubuo nating line ay vertical lines. Okay, so ito yung mahalagang concepts about the characteristics of slopes of a line. So, I think that's it for this video. So, uh, mali lang naman yung slope. Tandaan nyo lang yung formula na rise over 1 or vertical change over horizontal change. Tapos, given 2 points, apply nyo lang yung formula na y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay? So, that's it for this video. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.